keep up to date with our latest videos, please hit the button below. Hi there, welcome to this video from footballbetdata.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at teams that are performing better than their expected uh, outcome for the season. Um, so how do we derive what the expected outcome is? Uh, we use the Betfair exchange closing price. Uh, the Betfair exchange price is known to be pretty accurate. Um, and what we can do from the price is convert that into a percentage likelihood. Uh, so say for instance, price was two uh, in decimal, which is evens. Uh, there's a 50% likelihood that the event will happen uh, and a 50% likelihood that it won't. So we've created a, uh, a, a new sheet that we're gonna be demonstrating in this video. And what I will do is make it available for everybody on our example downloads file so you can use this sheet as well. Um, so the video here will talk you through how it's created because some people like to see what we've done and take that to another level um, and, and create their own sheets similar to what we've done or using ideas and techniques or you can simply uh, download the sheet and import your own uh, leagues for analysis. So first things first, we, we need some output. Now we can use either the data dashboard or the fixtures and results page. Um, the data dashboard and the fixtures and results page give exactly the same output in terms of the column order, the headers, um, and the, the content within there. The dashboard itself is more designed for you to create your own strategies. You save your filter criteria so you can recall it. Um, and generally the fixtures and results page is less clicking. It's just purely those, uh, the, those filters you see in front of you for the leagues and the seasons. So that is the easiest way to do it. In the purpose of this video, we're going to be looking at the current season for uh, the English championship. And I'm going to send that to Excel now. Open up the file. So here we have the output from uh, from the fixtures and results page. I'm going to open up the other uh, Excel file. So this isn't populated at the moment. And like I said, this will be available through the uh, website over the next day or two. I'm going to put my input uh, input the data into here. So you need to select the full data range, copy that, and go back and ensure you're pasting into cell A2 because we do have some formula uh, further to the right-hand side. I'm gonna populate this data by pasting it in. And as you can see here, this formula is now calculated uh, all the way down to meet uh, all the games. There's some games that haven't been played, as you can see in there. That's why it's throwing up the errors on some of these columns. And I'm gonna talk you through these columns that we have added in. So first of all, there's your data range up to uh, column BS. Then what we've done is add in uh, these additional 10 or so columns, and I'm gonna talk you through what they are and show you the formula. So you, like I said, if people want to uh, create something similar, uh, they, they understand how this one has been derived. So first of all, I did speak about converting odds into likelihood. Now, what we've done here is uh, do the sum of one into the Betfair Exchange home odds. So we have Betfair Exchange home odds in column R, and we've done the same for uh, the draw odds and the away odds. So that is the percentage likelihood of that event occurring based on the Betfair odds. Now, if I just flick back very quickly to the um, fixtures and results, um, page on the on the website we added in the betfair odds in june 2022 so you'll be able to use uh, outputs for the current season and the previous season and the same with the summer uh, summer seasons which are pretty much completed now anything before that date we didn't have the betfair odds available to us so we have in there what is um, a, an expected or estimated exchange odds and how they're calculated are the um, average bookmaker price with a 5% uplift. So not entirely accurate, but you could use that to some degree of accuracy. But what we recommend is if you're, if you're wanting to analyze against the Betfair exchange odds, you use uh, date periods after June, 2022. Let's just flick back to the uh, Excel page. So 
as I've said, we've now calculated in here the percentage likelihood of the home win, the draw, and the away win occurring. Now, if I sum those, um, that comes to 101.36. So we've added that in this column here. So it's as close to 100% as you'll get. If you did that for the um, bookmaker prices, those would likely sum up to about 112, 115, maybe even 120, because that's the over round that the bookmaker takes to make their money. The way the exchange make their money is that they take commission off all the winning bets. So that's why that the market is as close to a truer price as you will get because they don't need to factor in uh, these additional overrounds into the price. The price is dr driven and dictated by the market and where it closes and settles, people have um, taken on the draw, the, the away win uh, and the home win. Betfair know only one of those outcomes can happen and they will take the commission off all of those winning bets or trades placed on that market. So you can see, if we scroll down here, most of these are at or around 100%. So market efficiency is pretty spot on. Then what we have is three more calculated cells in here. And what we've done is we've calculated the, um, the likelihood to make sure that it does add up to 100%. And the way we've done that is calculate the home win uh, likelihood that we've done and divide that into the sum, the total sum. Uh, that gives you the home win likelihood as a percentage out of 100. We've done the same with the draw. So you divide the draw into the sum. So that one divided by that one. And then we add in the uh, home win into that total. And I'll show you why in a second. And then we did the same with the away win. So that's the away win into the sum and added to the draw and the home win to give 100%. So this column should always equal 100%. Now, the reason we've done that is because we want to uh, generate some score or match result predictions uh, based on the likelihood of the event happening. So in this column here, CA, you'll see that we have a random number generator. Uh, so we've used the formula rand between uh, between zero and a thousand, then divide it by a thousand to give a decimal uh, percentage um, random number uh, to two decimal places. And then what we can do is apply into the next column the result as predicted in this one-off random number generator. So you can see here that we generated a random number of 98% exactly. That would fall in between the draw and away, making that an away win. Now, obviously that the shorter the odds, the higher the percentage likelihood, which means the more likely that the number that's generated in here falls into one of those categories. Um, you can see below here, so we had a 12.4%, so that's below the, um, the home uh, percentage mark, as you can see here, it's below the home percentage mark, so it marks as a home win, where we have 60% uh, in here or 71% in this one, it's below the draw, but above the home win, uh, hence that is uh, allocated the D to signify that that's a draw. So this is one way that you can use Betfair odds to generate a percentage likelihood within Excel using the built-in function random between, and then that would give you a random number which can be refreshed several times and give you uh, a, um, a means to calculate the, the outcome. Now, obviously anything can happen. It's random in here. So you could have a really low likelihood of a home win, but that random number could fall within that, which gives a home win. So there is a massive degree of variance, which is why in this experiment, what we're gonna do is iterate through uh, the sequence a thousand times. So essentially generating a thousand occurrences of the result based on those fixed odds. Then what we're gonna do is create a league table on the back of that and then analyze it against the actual league table and the points that each team has had. So you can see in this example here, which was the first game of the season, Sheffield Wednesday, Southampton, it's predicted an away win based on this random number in this instance. So the home points are zero, the away points are three. So this spreadsheet will work for any league where it takes the format of three points for a win, one point for a draw, and no points for a defeat, which is pretty universal. I don't think there's many other leagues that work in any other way these days. So any league can be applied. It's for the main season only. So obviously playoff games, which we do not include within our data set because they're essentially one-off cup final 
or cup matches where the form doesn't really count, the, the, the regular season has finished, we're looking at league table position, which is dictated by the main season. Those are not included in here. So we're looking at re main regular season, leagues with a three points for a win, one point for a draw format. So we're gonna go to sheet one down the bottom here uh, to look at the next stage. Now you can automatically see that when I've clicked on that, some VBA in the background has populated the teams in alphabetical order. So we're looking at the English Championship. It's populated those teams, alphabetical order. And what it's done is pull in the points that that team has got in this one instance. So from that one iteration, these are the points that it's pulled in. We've got the average points, which uh, starts on column D all the way across, as there are none in there at the minute. Uh, this is not giving us any outcomes. Then we have two macros. So one is generate predictions, and that will generate the amount of predictions you want to uh, iterate through. In this instance, I've put a thousand, but you can select 500, 100, 10, five. Obviously the smaller you have that number, the lower, the uh, sorry, the higher the variance will be. I think a thousand is more than enough to generate a, a reasonable uh, conclusion that with relevance to, to suggest that, that that is the the points tally that that team would achieve over the course of a thousand games with the, the, the likelihood dictated by the Betfair odds. This button will clear the prediction. So if you had data in here and you don't want to re-import anything back into the main tab, you can clear those out and run it again if you wanted to increase that uh, number or decrease it accordingly. So your only restriction here is basically the amount of columns that Excel uh, goes up to, and depending on your version, that will vary. So I'm just gonna click this button here whilst talking you through, so you can see the, the blue circle is spinning, showing that these is, this is now creating a thousand occurrences of predictions, different predictions for each game based on the same set of odds will mean that each team has different points. So there'll be a big range between the points that they'll, um, They'll accrue over these 1,000 games simulated, but the average should work out to be a true value as to where the market sees that team's performance or where that team's performance should have been as dictated by the market. Um, and again, it's dependent on your speed of your machine, but you can see that's populated in about a minute or so. And then we have the average points. So the average of all of these, if I scroll across to... Uh, ALO, which is a thousand columns, um, that's the average points for each team. So Birmingham, Blackburn, Bristol, all the way down. Can clear that, obviously clicking that will clear these and then I can run it again, but I don't want to do that. So I'm happy it's generated a thousand, uh, a thousand iterations of results for, for all of those games that have been played already in the season. And then the final uh, tab, the final table, if I click that again, calculation will automatically uh, take place in the background so make sure if you are using this file you have your um, your macros enabled on your uh, excel settings and what it's done is published the league table uh, based on the expected points um, so leeds leicester joint top uh, expected 30 points so it's not factoring in any goal difference or anything here we're purely looking uh, at points so you can see here the, the position so leads are actually two places or predicted to be two places higher than um, what they actually are. So it's also calculated the um, the league here based on the points. And again, like I said, it's not factored in goal difference. We're, we're purely looking at the points. Um, so yeah, leads are two places below where they are expected to be, but they're actually one, uh, they're one and they're one point better off than where they are predicted to be. So two places lower, but they've got one more point than expected. Uh, Leicester, so they are top or joint top in this, which they are in um, in actual life. But they've gotten they've earned nine more points than they than was expected based on the the market odds. And similar for Ipswich, so they they're joint top at the moment, but their predicted or expected position is third, and they've actually accrued ten more points than expected. So you can scroll all the way down. You can look at uh, teams that have performed worse than expected. So we've got these here in Coventry. Um, so we've got a few teams all together on a cluster of 24 points in what would be joint sixth. So Coventry's expected points 24, their actual 16. So they're eight points below their expected place. 
uh, and the, the 13 places below, although it is a, a joint sixth uh, in this instance because there's four teams on 24 points. Sheffield Wednesday, the biggest team uh, to fall below their expected uh, points haul based on their odds. So they are expected to be in 20th with 18 points. They're actually rock bottom with, with only six. Um, but you can see the, the market's pretty much spot on. It's got the bottom five right. They're in the wrong order in you know, Birmingham as well down there. Um, but you can see where the anomalies lie. So Leicester and Ipswich well, perform, well exceeding their expected points. Uh, Coventry, uh, Sheffield Wednesday falling far lower than their expected points. And Preston as well, you could probably include in that. They're outperforming their expected uh, points target or points uh, expectation, if you like, through, uh, through the odds. So you can import, like I said, any league that you want in there. You can import finished season. So we could look at last season as a whole and you'll be able to see the finished league table and the team's uh, expected points and compare that. This is obviously mid-season. Um, and what it will show you is, like I said, where, where the market's inefficiencies are perhaps or where teams are outperforming their expected uh, expected position. So it's been something that a few people have asked us for. How can we use odds and expected positions, uh, expected results, uh, and analyze it against true results and where teams are currently sitting? So hopefully you find that video useful. We'll make the file available within the example download uh, page 